But so, on, on like on YouTube videos, you know, and stuff like that, I've got various videos that I post, some of which are pretty cool, like this, the floating card. It's a great YouTube video, isn't it? Right, but also produce that card, all right? Without using my hands much. So here we go, Nancy, all right? Is that your card? Yes. <laughs> me in my father's famous jumping bottle and glass trick. <laughs> Cheers. And then, um, well, if you would just hold on to that cup and step right over there, please. Okay. So when Beth got to one particular color, her pupil dilated slightly. <clears throat> but this is what I'm getting. So Beth, would you please tell us the color of what you were thinking. I hope I get it right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Thank goodness. Now, that sort of thing is, uh, you know, the mind reading stuff is what in the business we call mentalism. Just another little gentle toss. <laughs> Sue, I'm Christoph. Nice to meet you. Sue, if you would just stand right beside that easel there. And now some of you may have noticed at this chest floating over the stage for several hours well before the show began. Uh, but it is also a padlocked chest, all right? And so we're just going to, um, dear, did you bring the key? Yeah. Ah, here we go, the chest key. <laughs> now we're going to remove the contents of the chest, which should consist of, oh yes, there we go, exactly as we wanted. We're just going to take the lid off, and if you would please reach in and take out the message that's sitting inside. And just so that everybody can hear you, would you please take this microphone and read the message that I wrote to Colleen a few hours before the show began. You kiss just like a shaft. <laughs> How about a nice round for my reader? You were great. Thank you so much. Did the flat of the hearts make it, Bob? Well, you can feel the drama. <laughs> Bob, you just went by it. <laughs> the final heart made it! The nice my help is here! Thank you. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome back, Chris Dawg! And sir, would you mind coming forward, please? No, you right there. Yes, sir. With the baseball cap. He's a big one. Sir, in a nice, loud voice, please read the cocktail that was drawn out of the box? A martini. And what was the destination? Hawaii. Hawaii. So David, even though neither of us won, as sort of a consolation effort, perhaps what we could do is go and have a chilled martini on the beach in Hawaii. You did it, you know. Nicely done. Okay. How are you doing up here? The idea was to be relaxed. You still doing okay? Yeah, you're looking good. You're looking good. You are doing great up here. Don't you worry about it, right? Is it still in there? Yes or no? No. Would you care to make a bet on it? Put that down a little bit, right? Okay. You, you may want to stop backing up. Did the five of hearts, there we go. The five of hearts made it, and then the eight of hearts. Did the eight of hearts make it? Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, the world's greatest card trick. Thank you. Now, sir, would you please come forward and buckle Colleen's ankles into the steps. Use the very tightest notch that you can. I would caution you, these are her sons, by the way. And now, to make sure that Colleen doesn't change her mind, we'll just buckle these straps down like so. Sword number one, for good measure. And sword number two. Now, gentlemen, when I say pull, please... Pull on your rope and let's separate Colleen. Pull. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. A lady divided. Would you please come over and unbuckle Colleen's ankle? And would you come forward and unbuckle her neck? Thank you.